So you just pick the, the flag, the, this red flag, on each side of the, of the road to be able to cross and don't get killed, even though there is a crossing well painted. Uh, and this is in Bogota as well. And look, this is supposedly where you, you should cross, but it's very dangerous because you have the cars turning to the right. I brought this one because I didn't want you to think that I was only going to speak badly about other cities. So we also make mistakes, and this is also the same situation. Those right crossings are very dangerous. And one another example, so we go to the other side, but it becomes always uh, dangerous for people to cross. So what and as ends happening is that people decide to, grow, to cross in the middle of the road because it's the safest. So I, ironically, when we build these uh, crossings, nothing is, is really safe, and people try to find a way to, to do it. Uh, but since I showed the bad stuff, now I'm going to show the good stuff, and this is in Sao Paulo as well, the beautiful sidewalks that they have in the city center that they have tons of people every day walking, what New York is doing right now, uh, which, by the way, this is a great thing that this is happening in New York because it's what we do to tell people what New York is doing, and they love to copy what New York does. So we show this um, as much as we can to tell them, look, they close Broadway, why don't you, you close one of your main streets. And this is what we did in Bogota. The sidewalks uh, taken by cars parked uh, there. Then we recuperated them, and now we have nice sidewalks where people can walk. This used to be one of the most congested uh, streets in the city center, and now it's a pedestrian street. This used to be one of the most deteriorated um, parts of the city. Um, very dangerous, and it was turned into a park. There was a huge social, pro social program to uh, bring these people back, the people who, were, who um, were able to recuperate from drug addiction. And we built this park in the same area where all of these terrible things were happening. And we built uh, some nice parks in poor neighborhoods. Look, the, the quality of the houses that they are there. And, and when you see this kind of picture, you, you think, what did these people do before they had this park. What did they do these children before they had this park? Probably just watch TV. This is some other parks. This is how the canals were in the past, and this is how they are today. So we had the Warren Sewage Company build a sidewalk next to the uh, canals that they were working on. And this is the situation they have now. And with scarce resources, you need to make decisions. We could have paid roads, or we could create spaces for pedestrians, and we chose the latter, and we built a 23-kilometer-long promenade. And this is what happens. Uh, people are just using it to take children to school. They find their way to take them by bicycle. I'm going to make a, a short mention to um, traffic calming, and this, uh, these streets which are working really good in Europe and in China, where they have uh, cars and people integrated. If the car wants to go there, they have to go slow, and they know it. So it, it is very interesting how this works. Now I'm going to talk about no motorized transport, bicycles. These are the people for whom we built 340 kilometers of bicycle paths. The poor who get the... Uh, to work or to school by bicycle. So we built this infrastructure for, the, for them. We built fancy uh, bridges. If we did it for cars, why not uh, to do it for bicycles? And this is something very interesting. I hope you, you can see. Here, um, here is the, the marks for the each, each, um, each car lane. And you can see that this one ends here which is where the sidewalk and the bicycle path starts. And this is to show not only that uh, we were not very efficient uh, repainting the road, but to show that we were able to take spaces from cars to build bike infrastructure. And it's very, um, it's very upsetting when you go to a city 
and you, you tell them that bicycle is a good solution and they should build bicycles, bicycle paths, and the answer of the government officials is there is no room. There is no room for a protected bicycle path. And when I, I, I hear that, I always say, why you don't give a cyclist the same ride that the other uh, who are driving half? I'm a biker, and my question is, does my life cost less or is, or is less valuable than someone who is driving? Or uh, if, if that's the case, why don't, you build, why don't you build infrastructure for me as well? And uh, what I tell my family is that I'm ever killed on the road and, and I'm not on a bicycle path. They should sue the, the government because there was no infrastructure for me to ride safely. And uh, we also built some infrastructure here for, uh, for cars. We needed this, this infrastructure. But what is interesting is that we built that, but we also built this infrastructure for, uh, for cyclists. And you can see how um, people can access here, cross here, and they can go to any direction very safe and without no problem. And we weren't affecting the... Um, safety of cyclists there. And uh, companies are, st are starting to have uh, parking facili facilities. Uh, our transportation system also has um, exclusive entrance for bicyclists where they leave them um, safely. Uh, 350,000 people move by bicycle every day in Bogota. And well, you can see a traffic jam and people just uh, biking normally. Um, some of the people who are more thankful about this uh, infrastructure are the disabled. And we use examples from other uh, cities as well. And people many times tell us, no, the weather here is terrible. So we show them what happens in Amsterdam and in other um, northern uh, European cities where despite the, the snow and the bad weather, people still cycle. And these are some examples in other places that we showed. We market the construction of bicycle infrastructure uh, with these uh, images from, from Europe mainly. And now we are doing it with New York. What is great about this, and this is something we used a lot, is to tell them, look, there used to be a, a parking space here, and now there is a, a bicycle uh, space. So again, this is what we show. And of course, we, uh, we are trying to have more ice tents in Bogota, so we build this infrastructure also to see if one day we have some wind.